All right, I'm going to see if we can knock out both of these problems in one video. So we've been through some basic trig equations. What you see in this one is I've got both cosine functions and sine functions in the same equation. So if you like use substitution, you can keep on doing it. You'll just need to use two letters, like u and v. But I'm going to skip that for now just to keep things a little quicker. I'm going to say 2 sine of omega times cosine of omega. And I have a feeling I'm going to use factoring here. It just usually works out that way. There's no harm in moving everything over to one side with zero on the other just to see if you could do some factoring. And look at that. I've got a GCF here of sine of omega. So that pops out. Okay, I can pull out sine of omega as a greatest common factor. And that leaves behind 2 cosine omega from the left term and just the number 1 from the right term. So now I've got it in this classic form where it's just parentheses times parentheses equals 0, which means each of these parentheses separately must be set to 0. Okay, that one, sine of omega equals 0, and, <clears throat> and this one, 2 cosine omega plus 1 equals 0. So each of those gives us separate solutions. For the one on the left, we say omega equals, uh, oh, I've got to run to my unit circle here. Let's see. I'll do the one on the left in red. Uh, sine values are y values. So if the y values are 0, that's over here, left and right sides. Okay, so that's 0 and pi. And the other one, we'll just do that in blue. This is going to be 2 cosine omega equals negative 1, which means cosine of omega equals negative 1 half, which means, where's negative 1 half? Hmm. Well, that's the x value. Cosine is x value. And negative 1 half is a short distance. Okay, so it's kind of a, one of these steep lines there. And that looks like um, 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. So this is your full list of answers. It's, it's all of them. It's 0 and pi and 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. You would just enter those all as a list of values. It doesn't matter what order you do them in. It doesn't matter if they're simplified fractions or not. Just get the angles right. Don't use any decimals. All right, next one. Solve the following equation, blah, 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 blah. Exact answers. Okay, so just the normal thing. And now there's only one function, cosine. So if you want, you can go ahead and do a u substitution here. I think it makes it a little easier on the eyes anyway. 1 plus 2u squared equals 3u. Well, that looks a lot like a trinomial to me. It just isn't all on one side. So I'm going to move things around, as usual. 2u squared minus 3u plus 1 equals 0. And let's try our factoring on this. So if you want to pull out your big X, you can, right? Something like this, where I'd say the middle term is negative 3. 2 times 1 is 2. So I need something that multiplies to 2 but adds up to negative 3. That's going to be negative 2, negative 1. Okay? And then you need to divide each of those by 2. So this is going to be u minus 2 over 2 and u minus 1 over 2. And if they simplify, great. You just write them in simplified form, u minus 1. If they don't simplify, then you move that 2 over in front of the u. Remember that little trick? I've been doing that for a while. 2u minus 1. Okay, there's the factored form. Now, if you've got some other way to factor, that's great. You knock yourself out. But remember, um, when you get two parentheses times each other, that means you get two solutions. u equals 1. And from the second parentheses, it looks like that's going to be uh, positive 1 half. So now I just need to go back to my unit circle and say, this isn't u. This is really cosine of omega. Cosine of omega, which is the x values, is 1. Okay, that's all the way on this side. Or 1 half. That's pretty close to the y-axis, like right over here. Meaning... I've got those two steep angles on the right side and the angle zero itself. So that means omega is zero. Uh, going around counterclockwise, the next angle is pi over three. And the last angle at the very end is five pi over three, if I remember my unit circle. Okay, there we go.